for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double-A Eastern League. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Harrisburg Senators. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Tug Dick moved towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. And he takes ball one. Huh. First pitch of the night. That home plate umpire is already letting you know what kind of game it's going to be. One zero. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Cool forty seven degrees tonight at first pitch. Now a ground ball towards the hole, and that's a base hit. So the pressure's on to open up the inning. So the leadoff man is aboard to start the series. And with that, let's see how Harrisburg will line it up on D. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Roger Kieschnick is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. Pitch runs in on him as this is fisted out to the right side of the mound. On the first, but no, not in time as he really took a tumble at second base letting go of that ball. Kind of lucky to get it out anywhere here. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and it doesn't have a whole lot of zip on it, but they do find a way to get that force. Richard Matsumoto will get his first opportunity now. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Over to his left, he's up with it. And reined in, one away. Time for a check of the scouting report to give you a glimpse of what's to come from this 22-year-old lefty. Tug Dick will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And a slider that time as it's hit on the ground, but foul. for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Tug Dick will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Now 
now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for... Tug Dick will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Tug Dick will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Runner at first here, one man out. Here comes another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2-0 our score as you get a look there at the line scored at this point in the contest. Tug Dick. We'll see if he can find a gap somewhere as he's got the possible go-ahead run at first with two down. Here's the first pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, not his best effort right there. Luckily, he's still got... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the... Tug Dick will look to turn his fortunes around. Just one for six thus far. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Matsumoto will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on a base hit. Also one error in the inning, but two men left on.
down, so Pereira will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. The relay throw. And he is in at third safely. So the winning run is 90 feet away with nobody out. Tyler Kim will have a chance here in a crucial spot with the go-ahead run just 90 feet away. Swing and a tap around in front. Oh, on to first is going to be in time, and that means 13 innings won't even settle this one as that ends the inning. No damage. Tug Dick will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Here's the first pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Goodness. 0-2 now. 0-2, you got to shorten up. Find some way at least to put the ball in play. You can't afford a strikeout here with an important run out there at second base. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. things off here as they look to try and win this thing in the bottom half. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Dick is there and he has it for the first out. You know, once you get into extra innings, every fly ball here makes you go, whew. But this one didn't have a whole lot behind it, so we're going to keep on playing. Center field. Tug Dick will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And this is pulled hard, but foul. They brought their gloves for that one out there. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. Two quick outs here to start things off. Can't ask for much more than this in extra innings. Hold, serve, then give your guys a shot to win in the bottom half. Derek Connor will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And he'll get there at third. And now the winning run's only 90 feet away with just one out. up here what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our tops player of the game award yeah he came through with a couple of hits but more importantly that big home run
two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Tug Dick. Step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And reined in one away. So the rookie passes his first test here on the mound. And with that, let's see how Harris Burgle line it up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Tug Dick will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Oh Swing and a hard ground ball to third. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Oh, good diving attempt right there at third base, but he just can't get to the ground fast enough to make that play, and it slips past. Andre Potts will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Hey, that's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball and that one finds the target on the outside corner two and two swing and a ball hit softly on the ground on to first and there were two down yeah, and the only silver lining to this offensively is that you get that guy up to second base, and now he's in scoring position with two outs. But I would doubt seriously that that was his intention. Eric Lake will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. All the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. He was hoping he'd get him to go up the ladder there, but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Russell Bronson will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Here's a check swing and a pop-up now to the left side. And, oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Well, he's got to come in a long way just to field this ball, so you know that he had that clock ticking in his head. 
and it told him that he needed to get rid of this ball quickly. And unfortunately for him, he winds up throwing it away. Jose Moreno will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Now he knows he should be out of the inning already, but you know, he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. Swing and a line drive to left. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. And they're not going to get him at the plate as two runs have scored and they take a two-to-one lead. A big swing of the bat right there. He's right on this pitch. You see this ball get down and get to the wall, and at that point, it's off to the races. He's going to wind up driving everybody home with a three-run double. Angelo Francisco will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. A quick out number one. And as a pitcher, you always have to remember that once you let go of the pitch, you've got to become an infielder. Here's a guy that fields his position well, so he's in great position to spear this thing and then get the easy out at first. Derek Connor will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. The one-two. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. Dick has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Tug Dick will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. John Dunham will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard-hit balls there either. He's had them off-balance all game. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Yeah, not a lot of offense to go around for these guys so far. It's just their third hit of the ball game, but at least this one's an extra base hit and goes for a double. Tug Dick will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. Hit hard to short. There you go. Find it. Find it. Keep go on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, that's pretty nice. You come into a ball game, you throw one slider, and you get yourself an out. Now, that'll help you settle right into the game. Derek Connor will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And he changes up on him here and gets him to lift one into shallow center field. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now is still nobody out. And at this point... I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Oh. 
Tug Dick will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Well, here we are. It's the second month of the season, and this guy is showing no signs of slowing down. He's got himself another multi-hit ball game here. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. A look at the hit totals there into extra innings. Trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. him out here for round number three so after a scoreless top half Bill Reed will stand in now, hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Oh, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. Now a swing and a fly ball should be enough to get the job done. Around third and being waved on hold. And they're going to walk off here with a 5-4 win. Well, you have to sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. And sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guy into this victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to...